Now let's get more detail on the big talking point among oil traders this morning. BP makes what it's calling a giant discovery in the Gulf of Mexico. Bloomberg's Christian Schmalinger joins us from the Singapore newsroom. Schmali, what does it all mean? What does it mean for the mm -hmm. oil industry in the Gulf of Mexico? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's seen as a very good sign for the Gulf of Mexico. It's uh, been considered a very mature area for, uh, you know, the, where they've been producing for a long time. The first wells have been drilled offshore there since 1947. So to see a, a find of this magnitude certainly uh, reinforces the idea that people can go back into this area and, and find big, uh, you know, big, big areas to, to drill in. But I, I think at the same time, it also highlights the, the extremes that a lot of these exploration companies are having to go to. Uh, the, this well was drilled about 35,000 feet underground, which is you know, about a mile tall. Than, than Mount Everest, uh, so it, you know th these things aren't very uh, you know th they're not easy to find. It's still going to take a long time for them to, to extract the oil to, out of the ground, and uh, you know th there's still some th there aren't really firm indications to how viable this well will be given its uh, extreme depth and the temperatures they're going to be working at. So it's going to be a massive, massive project. Now taking a look at oil, seeming to mm -hmm. ease back in the past couple of days. Why is that happening? Mm -hmm. Well, I think what we're seeing is kind of a tug of war between some of the uh, competing data and some current concerns about what the fundamental picture is going to look, look like. Uh, we saw some positive economic numbers uh, in terms of the manufacturing data out of China and the U.S. earlier this week. But uh, yesterday overnight in the U.S., we saw that the payroll data from ADP was down, uh, which was really kind of weighed on, on, on prices as well. Uh, also, the, the inventory report came out, and it, it was uh, still kind of bearish in terms of how much the, uh, the distillate inventories, the diesel fuel, and the heating oil supplies grew. So the, there, there's it's been really trading in a range for some time now. Really, we've been stuck between about $65 and $75 since July 31st. And, and there's not really an in firm indication as to which side it's going to break out on. We're keeping an eye on that date, September 9th, when OPEC meets. What's the outlook for that particular meeting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, so far the indications seem pretty pretty strong that the, the group is going to leave the quotas unchanged. Uh, we had uh, the OPEC president, uh, Jose Vasconcelos, came out yesterday, and he said in, uh, in to, to some reporters that the OPEC was going to leave the, the quotas unchanged. There's still a possibility something might change when they have the meeting, but, but at this point a lot of people are expecting it's, it's going to stay around. They're, they're going to keep the, the OPEC uh, the quotas unchanged. Uh, basically it's because the, the $75 number that they, they've been calling for, this range really kind of includes that price. So, you know, there's really not reason for them to, to mess with anything at this point. Christian Schmalinger, thank you so much for that.